Hi guys, Gary Jarcy here, back on another video. So today's video is about my MA020. I've been getting lots of requests to make more videos about these cars. It's been a while since I've actually done much on my MA020. And looking back, uh, a lot of the times the videos have just been about uh, the VE Pro. So here we've got a MA020 um, Honda Civic Type R. This is a, a white body that's been painted by CS Designs, Colin over at CS Designs. Gorgeous detailing lots of black highlights and I've got LF5 drift tires on there you may notice that the Civic Type R comes with four narrow all around what I've done is I've kind of dished over the rear one as a wide and I've done this because it ends up with the same setup as in terms of track width as my MA030 let's put this together and show you as you guys know I love doing this so you've got a similar kind of setup to my Evo here, Evo All Wheel Drive. And it's just so I can do a comparison also, which I'll be doing another video on shortly. Again, this video is about lights. So last time we uh, put the under lights on this car. You can see that up here. Now what we've done, and one of the things that used to frustrate me on these Mini Zs, is the lack of light clusters now. I'm going to try and turn the light down so I can show you this. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that, that my rear lights actually have a cluster effect. Okay, I'll try and get some photos of that up so you can see it more clearly. It's a bit difficult with the light shining on the car itself. But this has been achieved, let me just turn that off, you can hear the gyro twitching. This has been achieved by uh, basically making our own light buckets. These cars, the way they are set up, especially these, uh, in fact I'm going to revert to, this is exactly the same shell in white. Let's get something to point with. Now you can see there's nowhere to actually put the bulbs and you can't actually see through into you can't actually see through into where the lens would be for the light to shine through. And when you look at it from the front, you can see they put an effect on there to give the effect of the LED cluster. I'll try and do this in a way so the light is not going to reflect. There we go. Let's just zoom in on that. But it'd be very difficult to actually fit bulbs, small but individual bulbs like that. And the rear is the same. There's nowhere really to put light buckets into this thing. So the way I got around this to give that LED effect is I have drilled small holes into the light cluster. So this is not easy to do guys and if you're using a white body it's better to do this when it's all in pieces before you actually glue the light clusters in. But for this instance I'm going to show you how it's done on a body that's already together. Now what I would do first is mark out where you're going to put your lights so there's an end point here and here where it's a bit thicker you want to avoid that and you can mark out positions of your lights so I think I went for six or seven but mark them apart because you're gonna be drilling holes through these and you need to make sure that you're not going to break through which is fine if you want to do a single strip LED light like you see on some of the cars now where it's one long thin beam. But if you want individual dots, then you've got to draw the hole separately. So this is just a guide. I would do that on both sides. So mark out. So I've done six there. Now be very careful how you do this. Wear safety glasses and if need be, uh, safety gloves. Now I'm using my electric hobby drill here with a very fine point. I think that's a... 0.3 millimeter tip but uh, you can see it's barely the size of the dots and I use this on a low power now this is difficult to film so I'll try and do one just to show you I typically mark off first so there we go we're on the lowest setting I mark off the middle one and I don't always drill all the way through Now 
Now, if you push too hard, you're gonna fly through and break the glass on the other side, especially if it's still attached. You can do this with a hand drill. Okay, and this will be easy to do if the cluster's not attached. I have, for this particular car, I did actually remove the cluster, then do this. So you can see there's one of my holes there, and then you mark the next hole to it. So your black dots are obviously just a guide. I'll do one more just for demo, and I'll see if I can show you from the other side. So like I said, make a guide first, just got it gently. It's gonna skip a bit. So this is not for children to be doing, definitely. Once you've got a little point that the drill can get into, you can go over it again. There you go. I would also blow off the excess dust before you actually drill through. Just stops it getting into the light cluster, otherwise you have to take the light lens off. Okay, you can see two holes there. And if you look through the front, you might be able to see through. So if you do that repeatedly, you'll get your line of lights. Now the next stage is to position your bulb. Now I typically position my bulb from the inside out that way. So my bulb is gonna lie across here once all the dots are done. The bulb will lie across this way with the wire going inwards. And the reason I do that is just to avoid the wheel. Uh, the other thing I'm going to use is a little bit of foil. And this comes down to the same technique we used when we were in the last video doing the lights kit for the uh, Hellcat. So the next stage, once you've drill drilled all your holes through, I've only done two or three there, but if you do the amount that you want for the effect that you desire, I often now position the tape where I want it to go first, hot glue that side of the tape down. So I'll put a bit of hot glue underneath it so the tape's not gonna come off. Then I will cut my foil to size. So typically it's just to cover the bulb. Let me grab a bulb so I can demonstrate this. So if you've got your bulb here, cut a piece of foil which is gonna go literally the length of your light fitting. So you want the foil to be from there to there. So. Bearing in mind, you literally want this over that strip. Now you can either stick this onto the back of the tape first, so it's there in position. I'd cut that a bit more neatly, that's a bit too wide. You literally want it reflecting back. So you get the idea. That's going to press into it, maybe a little bit higher. There we go. And that's going to help the light reflect back across, across the cluster, so you get that effect. Let me just put that into position. Now, once you've got that roughly right, you've tagged one end down already with the hot glue. These things don't tend to want to stay in position easily. So you can almost feel when the bulb is over the right location. Now, what I would do is I would not hot glue at that at this point. I would actually test the lights, plug it into your car, turn it on and see if the effect's correct. Once you're happy with the effect, then I would hot glue down the other sides. So that's literally how I've done LED light effect on there. And we do the same for the rear cluster. You pick a spot. So 
typically I marked I think three dots one two three there and either side you've got the tags for the lens that pick up the light anyway and that gives you the full effect of the L shape L cluster now obviously if you want to make more holes you can that's just the effect I've gone for once all that's done you're good to go so you can see what I've done here with the uh, Civic Type R the black one and you can see the light clusters are here that side's a little bit more messy I had a little bit of an accident but I can tidy that up with some more tape but overall it's pretty neat and this is just using a standard Mi Z light cluster so this is not a fancy one with double bulbs it's just a straightforward Mini Z Sports light cluster sorry LED lights kit that plugs into your port here and it's as straightforward as that really it just comes down to being careful with the drill use a hand drill and if you can make that can't make those holes safely get someone else to do it for you okay so I've just tried to move the light position so I can show you the effect I've got there now the other thing as well when we're driving the cars on the track if the LEDs are poking straight out the front it just makes the car, the lights too bright whereas this is more realistic you can still uh, see if we can do that there we go that's better now you can see them So guys, that's all for this time. Literally a video just about how to make these LED light clusters. I think I found the best way to show you this is with the lights flashing. You can see there pretty clearly that I've got a little cluster going on. Uh, next time guys, we'll do a video comparing the uh, MA020 with a front one way and rear lock diff versus the Evo all wheel drive, which hasn't got the uh, lock diffs, just the open diffs, just to show you a difference in the handling and the comparison. I think really what I want to show is how good the MA020 is with its options compared to a relatively stock Evo or wheel drive because the stock Evo or wheel drive costs so much more. It's just a nice comparison to make for all you guys who've got the uh, standard MA020 or wheel drives. So guys, that's all for this video. If you like what I do here, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys all next time.